Hey you guys, welcome back to your girl's music journey. Today we'll be exploring more of Gordon Lightfoot. This one is, this is The Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. We will be doing a lyrics video, you guys. It was highly requested, so let's get straight into it. Let, um, let's see if we can get, let's see if your girl could connect the dots, get the full meaning and the idea as we go along and let's go. And then we'll get the fun facts afterwards. But you guys let me know if you guys want me to keep rocking Gordon. Now so far, definitely a nice artist you guys so far but you guys let me know down in the comments more fun facts and more times you guys want me to do with this artist your girl will eventually get to him let's go The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed When the gales of November came early The ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound and the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too Twas the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind When supper time came the old cook came on deck saying fellas it's too rough to feed you at 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril And later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Damn, I mean, he's literally going to so many details. The ship is going down, but this lead, this is leading up to the ship going down. He's making you beat into the music. Like, you definitely could picture, picture the lyrics. Like, you're in the situation with them. How scary would that be, you guys? Like, the ship is sinking, right? They're in the passes of bad weather. And the ship is no longer, it can it cannot hold it. Oh my gosh. But the details. Ooh. Ooh. Does anyone know where the love of God goes When the waves turn the minutes into hours 
The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay If they put 15 more miles behind her They might have split up or they might have capsized They may have broke deep and took yeah. water And all that remains is the faces and the names Of the wives and the sons and the daughters Lake Huron Roll Superior sings In the rooms of her ice water mansion Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her The iron boats go as the mariners all know the gales of November remembered Musty old hall in Detroit they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitz. 29? 29. I mean, they had a job, they had a plan to do it and a goal to accomplish and to get where they're going. But death? Death was not in the plan. How scared they was. Oh man. And you know the saying, the captain always goes down with his ship. Like, it's just a sad situation. And one of my favorite movies is the Titanic, y'all. Now I know it's not this, but this is like a similar situation. Like, oh, I love the Titanic. It is, this is so sad. The life that was taken by weather and the water is like, Oh my gosh. Gerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Gitchigumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. So I'm, I'm guessing this is a real story. If not, this is storytelling. I see why you guys request this. Y'all love giving me storytelling. It. I love it too because it gets so deep in. It's just like, damn. This one really goes into detail to where it feels like you're on a ship with them. Obviously, you're not in fear as them because you're not literally in that position that they was. But it's just like the details of the lyrics drew you in. Lightfoot wrote the songs as a tribute to the ship, the sea, and the men who lost their lives that night. As what it says the lyrics, the lake is said, never gives up on her dead. The sink of Edmund Fitzgerald. Disasters and history of Great Lakes shipping. Damn. So yeah, it was so much on there, on the, on the ship. The 26,000 tons of iron one carrier sank in the Lake Superior, the largest Great Lakes during several November storm. A huge wave. The sun described the whole story. Yes, that's why I said detail after detail. And then the process of the aftermath, the sad tone to it. Damn, when it came supper time, like the cook came on deck. It's too rough to feed you. Mmm. I mean, it's definitely putting you in a position to where the wreck is happening. The wreck is there, it's right in front of you. 
And if there is a God, where are you at? Where are you? Oh my, <laughs> I told you I was salty. God, if, if there is a you, where are you at? I had a job to do. That's the only thing to support me and my family. The plan was not to die. But that's what it led to. Like I said, you never know when your time is. That's why you be thankful for every moment of the day. You don't feel that life where you feel like life is just so rough. Because this world can be so cruel and this world can get to you in so many ways. You never know when your time is. This is the aftermath. This is the process. This is the heart touching storytelling. Damn, Gordon. He did something with this one, y'all. Oh my gosh. Edmund Fitzgerald. I mean, rest in peace to the 29 men, I do believe it said. Just a sad situation. Mmm, mmm, mmm. See, I can never go on a ship all because of Titanic, but this is another reason. Like, ooh. You guys let me know down in the comments. I mean, I won't go to a cruise, but this stops me from going on a cruise. This type of, uh-uh, uh-uh. I just go sit at home. You guys, let me know down in the comments how you guys feel. Definitely, definitely was a touching one. Definitely got to me. I mean, it drew you in. Mm. You guys, let me know how you guys feel about Gordon. We're going to keep jamming them. Let me know down in the comments. More titles, more artists you guys want me to do. But I'll eventually get to them, you guys. Let's go.